Kramer to control. Kramer to control. Come in, control. Search control to 210. We reach you, Kramer. Come in. I'm about a mile east of Harold's cutoff. No sign of him yet. Any word from Donaldson? Donaldson reports negative, but is setting up blockade at the intersection of US 89 and Route 12. Do you have orders for his unit? Have his unit continue blockade. I'll meet him at approximately 2100. I'm going to check the date and layout in the meantime. I'll report back to you then. 310. There's no question that your designs and theories are far advanced of anything that our research department has come up with. Your use of solar energy as an inexhaustible power supply is an excellent theory. But it has to be proved, as do all your other innovations. Everything I design and build works. Outside stands a missile, capable of safely transporting a man into space. And I've proved it. I've proved it time and time again. That's quite true, Colonel. In a series of static tests, we've simulated several trips to space. The graphs from these telemetering devices will confirm that. In a project of this magnitude, static tests prove nothing. Gentlemen, you must understand that missile experimentation is government business. Strictly government. I don't see why. Just as in the case of medical research, it can be a private project as well. We've been through all this before many times. I'm only carrying out orders. Tomorrow morning, a team of government experts will take over. You'll see that all your information is turned over to them. Hi, Sheriff. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Dayton. Quite all right. Come on in. Well, this isn't exactly a social call. A couple of prisoners escaped from the county farm. I'd like to search your property. Well, you don't have to waste time asking permission. Go right ahead. Well, I've already given the grounds a once over. I was wondering about the area within the electric fence. Around the rocket ship? Not much chance of their getting past the fence without our knowledge. I don't know, Mr. Dayton. These are a couple of pretty smart boys. Didn't expect them to get past the prison fence, either. <laughs> I see your point. Sir, could you cut the electric power in there so the sheriff could look around? Of course. Well, I'm sorry I broke up your meeting, Mr. Dayton. No bother at all. I hope you catch your men. So do I. Oh, everything seems to happen at once. Sorry you object so strenuously, but you understand my position. I've really been expressing Dirk's feelings. He's been working so hard and long in complete secrecy that he resents any outside intrusion. You'll have to admit that's quite an accomplishment. Absolutely fantastic. How did you happen to meet Dirk Green? He wrote me a letter. Said he knew of my research work in missile design, claimed this location was perfect for a project he wanted to develop, and asked if I'd work with him. When I learned what he had in mind, I jumped at the chance. Well, now that he's completed it, uh, what does he intend to do with it? Fly it to the moon. Oh, come off it. You're not serious. Oh, it's an obsession with Dirk. If you hadn't intervened, I know he would have attempted the trip. And the funny thing is, I'm sure he would have made it. Is this a private party, or is anyone invited? Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, if I'm interrupting. Not at all. Colonel Wickers, this is my fiance, June Saxton. How do you do? How do you do? I'm afraid I'm more of a grass widow than a fiance. It's almost next to impossible to get Steve to break away from his work. <laughs> I'm surprised he found any time for work. Colonel Wickers represents the government space experimentation program. Beginning tomorrow, Dirk and I will be working under him. That sounds wonderful. Now that he has someone to help him, I may stand a better chance of corralling a husband. Well, I'm glad someone's on my side. By the way, the sheriff's car is outside. Oh, Dirk's out at the launching pad with him. They're looking for a couple of escaped prisoners. Don't touch the fence till I turn off the current. <laughs> off. Push open the gate. This was a great idea. Like hiding out in a gas chamber. The place gives me the creeps. You're always beefing. 
And they listen to you. Wise guy. Great place to hide, he says. I read about in the papers. This is a private project. No army guard in the place. We can hide here till the heat's off. Are you kidding? You can, not me. I'm taking my chances out in the open. This place is worse than a cell. Come on, you're leading the way. Before you go, you better take a look out there. Get back. That guy's looking right up here. He hasn't taken his eyes off the ship once. I get the feeling he can see us. Oh, you sure got us into some fix. Well, now, if that guy can see us, what's he having the sheriff look out over there for? Oh, that's bugging me, too. Who is that other guy? It's me. Hey, maybe it's Dirk Green. Who? Paper said he built this thing. The paper? What do they know? They said I stole three cars. So? So it was five cars. What do they know? Hey, they're coming this way. Hey, up the ladder. Ship. Oh, no, no, they wouldn't be up there. That could be anywhere. One of the prisoners is a pretty shrewd kid. The other one's smart, too smart. He's the brains, Gary Fennell. I don't know, I think we better take a look around. Well, just as you say, Sheriff, but why not let me do it? After all, there's a lot of delicate equipment up in that ship, and I'd, I'd rather not have strangers roaming about in it. Fair enough. I'll wait down here. Right. So hot in here, nowhere, probably suffocate to death. Got the ladder? Oh, no, not me. Hey, listen. Oh, I'm telling you, if I had a gun, I'd... Yeah, I can see you'd be a big man with a gun. Trust him? We got a choice? Certainly we got a choice. I don't trust nobody. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> it's locked. He locked it. That dirty... Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. Finally back. Any sign of the prisoners? Hello, June. No, no, the sheriff didn't see anybody yet. Has Vickers left? Yes, he has. Join us in a drink? I won't let you refuse. We're celebrating. Now that Colonel Vickers and his staff are coming in to help you, Steve has promised to take time off for a wedding. Nobody's going to take over my work. I designed and built that ship to fly into space, and I'm going to see that it does. Now, Dirk, let's be reasonable. Think of all the information we can contribute toward the future development of space travel. Yes. Yes, you're right. I can teach them a lot about space. I'll give them something they'll never forget. I'm sorry if I said the wrong thing. Oh, you can't blame him. He spent a lot of time on that ship. He's bitterly disappointed, but he'll have a new outlook by morning. Everything will turn out all right. Here's to our happiness. Nothing up there but a jillion wires. Well, 
looks like we're stuck here. And you're the jerk that arranged this freak hideaway. Look who's talking. I never should have let you talk me into making that break with you. I had six months to go. Six lousy months and I'd have been through. Are you crazy? Yeah. It's crazy to try that stick up that got me in trouble in the first place. One harebrained thing, look what it did in my life. Hey, look, Lon. Don't you chicken out on me now. Look, I got a lot of connections. I'm going to show you the ropes, okay? Oh, relax. It's food. Aren't you hungry? Yes, we're... You know who we are. What do you think? Here, eat. Here! Hey, oh, come here. Look at this. Cold chicken, fruit, cake. Come on. Hey, what's a big idea, huh? Food okay? Yeah. I have a proposition to make. I knew there'd be a catch. Well, go on, what is it? I want to take this ship up tonight. Up? Up where? To the moon. Well, now look, George, if you want to speak to me, you better shake the loose parts out of your head. Yeah, uh, man, look, we're, we're trying to get away, but... Uh... Not that far. Now get this straight. I'm taking this ship to the moon tonight. I can make it alone. But it'll be a lot easier with your help. Now the trip itself will be reasonably comfortable, providing the unexpected doesn't occur. There's plenty of especially prepared rations aboard. And well, well, boys. This guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. Hey, what do you say we jump him? I don't think he really means it. Every word of it. What's more, we can make it. Now, look, knock it off. Don't give me that stuff. I'm getting out of here right now. You'll hear me out. Now, I said I had a proposition to make. Now, you boys join up with me peacefully and give me your absolute cooperation. Then there'll be no trouble. But you refuse? Well, I'll just have to use this. Some choice, mister. You drive a hard bargain. Now, the operating procedure is quite simple. Our destination is preset. The guidance system will keep us on course throughout the entire trip. And I can easily show you boys what to do, if you listen carefully. He seems so sure of himself. What do you think, Gary? What a crazy idea. Take a trip to the moon. Hey, wait a minute. Are we coming back? If we reach the moon, coming back is a simple matter. We're away. If we go to the moon and we come back, that means we're heroes, doesn't it? What do you think? Yeah, I'm way ahead of you. OK, mister, you got a deal. All right, then, let's get going. First thing I want you fellas to do is to change into clothes you'll find in that locker over there. <laughs> I think I'll be running along. Let me lock up the panel. I'll drive you home. What is it? I don't know. Something's wrong. The signal from the missile are flashing. Somebody's mucking around out there. I better go take a look. I'll go with you. Don't leave me alone here with those two convicts still running loose. Sure, come on. See those fastened? Hey, do we need oxygen masks? No, this control room is sealed. It contains its own oxygen source. Sure, Lon, like in pressurized planes. No, we're sealed. We're not under pressure. The same air is continually washed and cooled. All set? I guess so. My stomach feels a little jittery, though. All right, turn around and lock your chairs the way I showed you. And Gary, that little switch there in the middle of the panel, mark gyro, flip it up. 
What's that for? Don't ask questions. Just do as you're told. Lon? Yeah. Flip up all the controls marked Astro. There are three of them. At the right there. Astro switches on. All right. Somebody's in the ship. Here we go. Who's up there? I don't know what's going on. But I think somebody's trying to take off in this rocket. We've got to get out. They've sealed the ship. Well, isn't there any way you can open it? No. Quickly, there's no oxygen in this compartment. Hurry. Here are a couple of spare face masks. All right, now listen carefully. I'm going to begin the countdown. Gary, at seven. When I say seven, flip on all those switches in the lower row. Got it? I think so. I want you to be sure. Yeah, yeah, at the count of seven. Put all the switches on in the bottom row. All right. Lon, you follow me. In front of you are ten levers. Each are numbered. Yeah, one to ten, okay. As I count them down now, you pull a lever. And confirm the number by repeating it loud. Got it? Pull each one as you make the countdown. Check. Okay. Here we go. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. When I give you the word, put on your mask and brace yourself. Will we be killed? We've got a chance. Quickly. There go the igniters. Two. Two. One. One. Zero! forever. I'm almost afraid to try to move. It was a lot rougher than I expected. But apparently everything's all right, though. The counterbalance indicator. Are we okay? Something's out of place in the lower chamber. The control system is stabilizing to correct it. Lon, well, release yourself and check the lower compartment. Down here. They're dead. Dirk. What happened? What's that sound? Where are we? Good Lord, we're moving. Take it easy. Everything's all right. You've been out a long time. You crazy fool. What have you done? We're thousands of miles in space. Everything is working as we designed it. We're on course and everything's under control. June, where's June? June's all right. June's right here. Are you all right, darling? I'm fine. Who are they? The two escaped convicts. <laughs> I needed a crew. I still can't believe it. Lie back and rest, darling. Everything Dirk has said is true. It's going to be all right. Boy, it's just turned into quite a party. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to like this. Except I don't approve of the company she keeps.
24 over 10. Minus 25. Minus 25. Well, I guess that does it. We can calibrate the left bank tomorrow. How does it look? Matches the static telemetering charts perfectly. Good. Well, I think I'll lie down for a little while. Why don't you do the same, Steve? I will in a while. But I think I'll check the neutral calculator's top side. Gary, you want to give me a hand? I'm just along for the ride. Gary? I'll help. While you're up there, check the CR indicators, will you? We may be passing a field of meteorites soon, and we'll need the warning panels. We'll do it. Meteorite fields? Yes, they're our most serious hazard. If we should intercept a floating field, there's always a chance that they may penetrate our hull. However, this indicator will warn us of the approach of such a field. If you like, why don't you watch the screen until Steve finishes? Thanks, I'd like to. Gary, would you please go down to the lower compartment for Look, Dad, I've been watching that panel for hours. Can't you see I'm resting? No oh, messenger boy. You want something, you get it. Everything seems to be working properly. Just relax now. No, 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 don't be that way. We haven't got all day. Please don't. Oh, I watched you with that Steve guy. You don't fool me. Come on. Let's you and I have a little fun, huh? That's quite enough. Get away from me. If Steve could... Why don't you call him? It's right up there. Oh, but you won't, because you like it. Huh? Stop it! You keep away from her. Oh, we're just having a friendly little conversation. What's wrong with that? You've been asking for it. What's the beef? You got a little interest here, too? You rotten little punk. No, Dirk, please, no trouble. This is no trouble. This is a pleasure. Stop it, you two, please. <laughs> Closely. The controls are preset so the ship will land in a specified area. An area designated by me. Now, don't change it. Don't change it. You must land there. Lie still. Don't talk. We'll take care of you. There. And take this. And don't lose it. You, you'll need it where you're going. What for? <laughs> Why, Dirk? Why will I need this? It's all up to you, Steve. It's all up to you now. Lido. My Lido. Forgive me. Forgive. Dirk. Dirk. 
dead. That jewelry is still bugging you, huh? That and some other things. Dirk, for instance, had allowed for every obstacle we'd run into in space. He was right every time. That, uh, that babe that he was talking about, what was her name? Um, Lita? Laida? Lido. That's another thing. And finally, why was he insistent about landing at a particular place on the moon? Yeah, the moon's the moon. One place is as good as another to me. Like he expected something to be there. That, uh, that sparkler and that medallion, what do you think that's worth, huh? A couple of grand? Huh? Three? Four? Don't get any ideas. There's nothing you can do with diamonds on the moon. What we need now is some good old-fashioned luck. Hey, June? Steve, come here quickly! Something's happening. Turn on the forward scanner. I think this is it. <laughs> come true. I'm so happy, I don't know what to say. If everything goes well, we'll be seeing a lot of the moon. Right now, there's work to be done. Break out the space suits, Lon. Gary, you know where the helmets are stored. The automatic reverse thrust mechanism should take over now. We won't be able to feel the sensation of slowing down. We'll just have to cross our fingers and wait. That's it. Make it snappy, fellas. We're coming in. Break one. <laughs> I just saw a ghost. <laughs> if I look like you, I do. <laughs> this is the end of the line. Everybody out. My head feels like it's in jail. Hey, how do you breathe in here anyway? It'll feel stuffy for a while, but you'll get used to it. Check your oxygen regulator until it feels comfortable. These gravitational shoes work like a charm. Hope these outfits are in style. Getting acclimated? Feels better than when I first put it on. If we're all set, let's take a look around. Hey, what's the hardware for? The what? The hardware, the gats, the guns. Expect to run across a rabbit? Just precautionary. I'll lead, you follow. Keep together in single file. Soon the sun will be up. I hope not. The heat from it would roast us alive. Hey, hey, 
listen. There's someone following us. <laughs> no chance of that. Your hearing is more sensitive through your receiving set. Just some loose rock sliding. <laughs> Cramp cabin on the ship would look awfully good to me now. Boy, they'll never believe us back home. Hey, watch it. I almost broke my neck on this stick. There might be more around here. Let's see that. What is it? I can't believe it. What is it? It's an old torch. Yeah, a burnout torch. Does that mean someone's living in here? Those things on the outside, this is probably where they live. Some higher form of life. Steve, there's a light behind that rock. Fire can't burn without oxygen. Believe it or not, there's oxygen in this cave. Go ahead and take your masks off. It's okay. <laughs> Nothing like good old stale, musty air. Anything can smell better after breathing out of a bottle all day. First thing to do is get out of these suits. something? No, nothing. Nothing. You're a liar, Dayton. Hey, take it easy, Gary. Come on. What do you mean? He's holding on on us. He's found something he doesn't want us to know about. He's right. There's nothing to be alarmed about. There's some tracks that were made recently. Oh, you see? What did I tell you? It only confirms what we already know, that some higher form of life exists in this cave. Yeah, well, I'm not staying around this place. Pretty soon we'll all be killed. I'm going back to the ship. Now, who's going with me? 
There's no sense in panicking. We've got weapons and plenty of ammunition. A lot of good I did against those things out there. Oh, no, I'm leaving. There's something else in this tunnel. I can feel it. I can feel their eyes watching us. Now I'm leaving. Hey, Gary! Come back here. You're going the wrong way. You better get him, Steve. No. We've got to stick together. It's the only chance we've got. Gary's footsteps, they've stopped. Gary, come back! Huh? What? what are you doing? Who are you? No, no! No! Just keep away from me! They got him, Steve! They got him! What's that I smell? <coughs> Some kind of gas. <coughs> I can't breathe, Steve. <coughs> This can't be where I think it is. No such luck. They're still alive. <sighs> All I can remember is somebody walked up in front of me smoking a cigar and boom. She knocked me for a loop. I wonder where we are. Uh-oh. Hey, Dayton, we got company. <laughs> I bid you welcome to Orlando. I am Lido, high ruler of our humble domain. I am told you are intruders from an unknown origin. There will be time for that. Now you must rest and partake of our hospitality. It's not poison. If they wanted us to die, they could have finished us off back in the tunnel. Why, it's delicious. I am pleased to see that you find our offering satisfying. It may interest you to know that the food in front of you was produced long before I was born. Good, something to drink. I don't know, maybe she didn't like my face. That's not it. These girls may be a little strange, but I don't think they're crazy. The medallion. Get it for me. No. I will do it. It is Dirk. He has returned. Dirk. My Dirk. Your time will come, Alpha. For now, you will see that the others are made comfortable. Dirk, you will follow me. Steve? You'll be all right, honey. I'll be back in a minute. But I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about you. Will you come with me, please? long ago given you up for lost. It is good that you have returned to us. You must tell me about the Earth. Its climate, atmospheric conditions, everything you've learned. Well, 
that's a pretty big order. I'll need a little time. You ask for the one thing I cannot give you. You see, Dirk, much has happened since you left us. The ship that took you to Earth never returned. Nor did the scientists who were aboard it. As a result, those few of us left are in grave peril. Our oxygen is fast disappearing. Our food supply is dwindling. Soon this satellite will be barren, devoid of life. Are there others like you, like us, who live here? You seem to have forgotten much during your stay on Earth, Dirk. You have not even commented on my blindness. I was very sorry to see it. You need not be. The affliction of my eyes has been accompanied by a heightening of my other senses. You remember, of course, by what right I acquired my power to rule here. Of course. Come closer to me, Dirk. I wish to see how much you've changed while you were away from us. You are different. But perhaps the change is for the better. Alpha was pleased. Alpha? I suppose it is only natural that you did not recognize her. She was a very little girl when you left us. However, your betrothal still stands. Your marriage ceremony will take place as soon as you've made known to me the scientific details of your trip. Shall we begin? Yes. And I used to think those scientists who wanted to reach the moon were kooky. Man, this is it. This is fantastic. I can't believe it. It seems like a dream. Well, honey, if there wasn't better material around, I'd volunteer to pinch you. Hello there, sweetie. How are you? Say, um... Hey, uh, what do you say you and I get some earth light, huh? <laughs> you speak so strangely. Oh, I do, huh? Well, I may speak strangely, but I'll make myself understood. <laughs> Come on, let's, uh, let's get away from the crowd, huh? Come on. He's as subtle as a sledgehammer. Oh, Gary's all right, I guess. A little hard-headed, but... He doesn't mean any harm. To deliver me from people who don't mean any harm. They're the ones who cause it all. Huh. Just like being on top of the Empire State Building. Uh, I do not understand. That's all right. Come here. Come here, I'm not gonna bite you. That's better. What is the setup, huh? <laughs> Again, you puzzle me. What gives? What gives? Where are all the men around here? Don't you even have a boyfriend? You are the first man I've ever seen. But I'm told we used to have many. Well, honey, we've got to catch up for lost time. Hey. Are these real? <laughs> Again, you puzzle me. These diamonds. These rocks, are they real? Oh, these. They are worn only for adornment. You like them? I sure do. They are real. Hey, wh who gave you these? No one. I found them myself. You found them? Yes. They are of no special value. Honey, show me where you found these. Well, there are thousands like these in the lower end of the caves. Well, take me there fast. But what of the others? Hey, hey, don't worry about the others. We'll surprise them. I'll tell them about it later. If that is your wish. No, thank you. I wonder what's keeping Steve. Oh, I can't imagine. Uh, they probably have a lot to talk about. Oh, he'd better be talking. Oh, that reminds me. I better find Gary. He's got a bad habit of getting lost. Especially with pretty girls. Hey, hurry back. They're giving me a complex. 
Ooh, if I'd known there was going to be this kind of competition, I would have undressed for the occasion. From what you tell me, Dirk, the planet Earth would not satisfy our needs. Fortunately, I have another destination in mind. Tell the Earth people they are not to consider themselves prisoners. They may move about as they wish, provided they do not try to escape. You will rejoin them now. Yes. Thank you, Lido. I'll tell them. Did she say what's going to happen? Over here. The Lido is blind. She thinks I'm dirt green. Dirk? So that's the reason he wanted to be sure we'd land here. But what about the others? Surely they know you're not. They were all very young when Dirk was sent to Earth. That ship never returned. Well, what's going to happen if they find out you're not Dirk? Well, the oxygen here is disappearing rapidly. They exterminate everybody who doesn't perform a useful function. That means us. Steve, what can we do? We're not in any immediate danger. They want our rocket ship. It's their only hope of salvation. She told me an amazing story of how their civilization has dwindled to its present state of survivors. It seems their troubles began about 20 years ago. <clears throat> oh, hello. I saw you in the hall. Perhaps I can help you? Oh, no, I was just looking for my friend. It isn't important. He'll be back. Oh, don't, don't leave. I'd like to talk to you. Yes? I was just noticing it. Uh, it seems lighter out there now. It was dark when we landed. Well, the sun is approaching. Oh, do you have days and nights like, like we do on Earth? I mean, how often does the sun shine? Not too often. It comes around every 17 nemlos. We fear the sunlight because our surface has no atmosphere and the heat is intense. Only the rock creatures can survive it. Yeah, we had a run-in with them when we landed. Good thing they didn't follow us into the caves. We've been goners. Oh, there's oxygen in the caves. The rock creatures thrive on the sun, but the slightest exposure to oxygen is fatal to them. Do you not have rock creatures on Earth? Oh, no, no, we don't. You know, if I, if I was out with a pretty girl on Earth, I probably wouldn't be talking about them either. You would not be talking? Consequently, this is the last pocket of atmosphere. When this goes, that's the end. Is there any way we can help? Not a chance. By the way, there's one more thing. That girl, Alpha, she's supposed to be my bride. Your bride? Dirk's bride. It was arranged a long time ago before Dirk left for Earth. Oh, now, look here, Romeo. If you think for one instant that you and that... Now, June, it'll be all right. I'll simply explain the circumstances. Dirk! You'd better start explaining. Come, Dirk. It is time. Time? For our marriage ceremony. The Lido is ready. We shouldn't rush into this too fast. We ought to discuss it, talk about it. I've waited a long time, Dirk.
Just a minute. What's the meaning of this? Well, I'll tell you the meaning of this. That happens to be my fellow you've got your arms around, and his name isn't Dirk Green. It's Steve Dayton. So you just better be careful before I forget I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> She will die. Well, I guess that did it. Steve, I'm sorry, but I just saw Red. It's all right, honey. They'd all know about the masquerade in a minute anyway. We'll have to get a move on. I don't get it. What's it all about? We're going to have to round Gary up and get out of here. Leave? I was just beginning to like it. Where is Gary? Oh, Zima saw him heading for the caves. I, I think they're this way. Come on. They're imposters. The name of the man who calls himself Dirk is really Dayton. He must have stolen the medallion. Fool. Do you think your Lido did not know this? That she could be so easily deceived? I wish to keep my knowledge secret from the Earth people until I had learned more about them. Their hopes, their fears, their reasons for coming here. But now, because of your blundering, they must all die. All except Dayton. I will accept him as my husband. What you ask is impossible. They need the others to help in piloting the strange craft in which they arrived. I say they die. The one called Dayton can give us all the information we need for running the ship. You overstep your bounds, Alpha. I am the Lido. You will obey my orders. You'll grow old. Old and weak. You have outlived your usefulness. Hollanda must have a new leader. Even the medallion, which is a symbol of your leadership, is too heavy for you to hold. Your hand grows weary. My will is stronger than yours, Olido. I, Alpha, tell you to drop the medallion. <laughs> exercised your right to challenge for the throne, and you have lost. But someday you will win. Now, however, my orders must be obeyed. Yes, my leader. Real diamonds. Which type before me? Your ways are strange. My ways are rich, baby. Hmm. You gotta help me find the way back. I gotta get something to put all this stuff in. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell the others about this, you understand? I understand, but I do not think the secret. Don't think, honey. Just be beautiful. Come on. Where is the Lido? The prisoners are in the passages. They seek to escape. There is no time to tell the Lido. We must act now to prevent them from reaching their ship. Shall we prepare the gas? No. They have violated our leader's trust. This time, they must be taught a stronger lesson. The dark creatures. But it is decreed that only the leader... Silence! There's no time to waste. Steve, I don't like it. I've seen enough of these people to respect their intelligence. They're not going to sit by and just let us walk out of here. You might be right. We've got no choice. We've got to take that chance. This looks like the turnoff. Yeah, that's all right. Now all we have to do is find Gary and... Hey, they're gone. The spacesuits are gone. I knew it was too easy. Steve, there's something about this place. Yeah, I know what you mean. 
Let's get out of here. There's something moving in there. That's Dayton and the others. No, no, you, you mustn't go in there. They're trying to get away without me. They're going to leave me here. All right, what's the big idea, huh? Trying to cut out hey, of me, take huh? take it easy. We're just going to look for you. Oh, sure, I bet. Please listen to me. You must leave the section of the tunnel at once. Hurry! It's too late. They know. It's Lambda. to have eluded the dark ones. I hope you have learned that escape is hopeless. I admit it was a foolish move. Now, if you please, I'd like to have an audience with Alito. You continually avoid me. Do you not find me attractive? I have admiration for you and for the others. But you must understand... The Earth Woman. You will soon forget her. It's no use, Alpha. You can't bend me to your will. Perhaps you've forgotten that without our spaceship, you and the others cannot leave this dying city. You're less wise than I thought. I find you... amusing. We shall get off. But we will not go to Earth. We will go to another planet where I will be the Lido and you will be my husband. I could never consent to a thing like that. But you will consent. You see, Dayton, my will is stronger than yours. You have no choice but to do my bidding. No. Do not avoid me. My thoughts will become your thoughts. You'll feel only hatred and distrust toward your friends. Your allegiance will be to me, and me alone. No. Stop saying that. You're making me dizzy. My will is stronger than yours. You must obey me. You will obey. I will obey. The Earth people. The girl, they're your enemies. They must die. Do you understand? I understand. Alpha, I wish to speak to you alone. Yes, my leader. Again, you defy me, Alpha. You know the law here. The will of the Lido must be obeyed. I, uh... I beg your indulgence, my Lido. I was, uh... merely trying to obtain certain information from the man called Dayton. Information which would, uh, help us in our plans. You add lying to your other crimes? You desire Dayton for yourself. That is not to be. I, the Lido, decree it. What do you decree now, my Lido? Lido has, uh, has met with an unfortunate accident. 
but uh, before her death, she appointed me as the new Lido. The Lido is dead, but it is no accident. Do you defy my will? Do you wish to challenge my right to be the new Lido? What is your wish, my Lido? Remove the body and announce my ascension to the throne, to the Empress. Yes, my Lido. And, uh, oh yes, tell the others to prepare for a wedding. A wedding that will follow an event in the extermination chamber. There isn't much time. Listen carefully. You and your friends are in grave danger. Even now, the extermination chamber is being made ready for you. Well, it's sweet of you to worry about us, but, but Dayton's in there now, talking to Lido. <laughs> the Lido is dead. Alpha is the new Lido. If you wish to live, you must... Go on, go on. It's too late. They're coming for you. Trust me. The prisoners are ready. You're just in time for the ceremony. Unfortunately, the Earth Girl will miss them completely. She has been sentenced to die. But first, your Earth man has something to say. To whom do you give your heart and your mind? To you, my Lido. Steve! Steve, don't let it do this! Can't you hear me? Stop! I can't move. What are you doing? You cannot move because I do not wish you to move. My will is supreme. It must be obeyed. Now, my Dayton, you give the order. No! Steve, no! I love you. Tell me you love me. Take the woman to the extermination chamber. At the end of this corridor is a door. This key will open it. Inside you will find the strange clothes you wore when you arrived here. Come on, you're coming with us. No, I'll stay and help your friend. But how? Shh. You must hurry before the dance is over. Take these. You will need them for protection against the rock people. You will find the girl at the bottom of the stairs. Now go quickly. I'll join you later, I promise. No, please go before it's too late. I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, Lan. I'll always be with you. This must be it.
Everything's okay now, Jimmy. Where's Steve? Zima promised she'd help him. We'll wait for them here. Look, I gotta go. I'll meet you back at the entrance of the caves. Where are you going? To pick up a ticket to a swimming pool. Five block long cars and a house with 50 rooms. Stop the dancing! Where are the two Earthmen? Whoever's responsible will die for this. All of you, search the area! Why are you not searching for the Earthmen? Do you dare defy me? Do you wish to die with the others? I command you to leave. At this moment, the Earthmen are releasing the girl. Now you will release him. Release him. You... you cannot defy me, Zima. You're... you're too weak. Even if you succeeded momentarily, it would drain you of all your strength. Look, even now you grow weak. And... and then... Uncertain? No. It is you who are powerless. You cannot move nor speak. Dayton, you are free. <laughs> Curse you! Where am I? What am I doing in these clothes? You are free of her spell. The others are waiting in the tunnel. Run! Gentlemen, Papa. You cannot leave, Zima. Your strength is gone. Yeah, you're all right. We gotta keep moving. We gotta find our suits. Oh, yeah, we got them back in the tunnel. Good. Where's Gary? He said he'd meet us later. Now, my slave, you will release the gas in the caves. And it will be your hand that destroys the Earth people. I command you, release the gas. Now. Pull the lever. I said, pull the lever! Don't, Zima. All of our atmosphere will be released. You'll kill us all! It's no use. This is the only way. <laughs> Something's happened to her, I know it. I gotta go back. Oh, wait a minute, Lon. Put your masks on quickly. The oxygen is escaping. Wait, what about Gary? He'll have to find his own way. Our only 
only chance is to make our way in the shadowed area near the cliffs. The heat of the sun would roast us alive. Dayton. I command you to return. Return at once! Steve, what's the matter? I've got to go back. He's under the spell of that woman. We've got to get him away. Lon, help me. Must obey me. You will obey. My Lido. You'll be killed. We've got to stop him somehow. I command you, Dayton, to. what you think. They're after us. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Generators seem to be working. Get ready to start the countdown. You think we'll make it? Well, let's say we've got a good chance. Steve, before we start, there's just one thing. Yes, June? Do you... Do you think I'm prettier than that girl, the one called Alpha? Honey, there's only one thing I ever expect to see that's prettier than you, and that's old Mother Earth looming up in the viewplate. <laughs> 